Hey everyone, it's Mark here at Sussa Studio, and uh, it's December 2020, and we're just a few weeks out from Christmas, so I thought I'd get back into some of the Reliant K stuff uh, from the Christmas Project, which makes sense. Uh, today, I'm going to go ahead and go through um, one of my favorites, kind of a sleeper on the record, uh, but... Uh, it has a special place in my heart. It, it's uh, I hate Christmas parties, and uh, it's it's a ballad. Matt brought this. I remember the day he brought it to me. Um, beautiful piano ballad. Immediately kind of Ben folds ish a little bit in some ways, uh, but the lyrics on it were just hysterical. I mean, it, you have this beautiful ballad, and he's using uh, lines like uh, uh, "You and the cookie tray will hear me say bah humbug." <laughs> Which just cracked me up, uh, uh, you know, just against that beautiful, uh, the beautiful chords and the melody and stuff on this thing. Um, ironically, there's only two people involved on this cut, uh, which would be Matt and myself, uh, and as far as playing the instruments go. Uh, more of a Matt in, uh, in the Earthquakes uh, tune, but like, I think the band just felt it was cool to go on the record, and it worked out well that way. So, so here's how that song came about real quick. Um, I said, Matt wrote this song on piano and, uh, we were back then we did the, the records up in my house in Canton, Ohio, when I lived there. Uh, and I didn't have a piano. So when we need a real piano, we would go to Malone college. Uh, I think it's Malone university now, but we would go there and they graciously allowed us to use the, uh, rehearsal piano that was in their choir room. Um, and the piano a lot of times was out of tune and had a bunch of rattles and stuff in it, but it was still, it was, a, it was a grand piano. Uh, so we, we would use it. And, uh, I remember back then, this before people were really doing stuff on laptop recording wise, I had one of those portable Roland VS recorders. I think it was a VS 1880 and, uh, brought a couple of condenser mics and we mic'd up the piano and Matt just played it down just as he fell. Didn't sing it, but just played the whole song through, uh, with all these tempo fluctuations, which was good. That's music. And, uh, then he goes, well, I think I got another part I want to put on top of it. Just kind of a, you know, something with the right hand. And I said, okay, cool. So what we did to change it up, um, was we moved one mic off the piano just a little bit and then one way off into the corner, uh, for like a long room mic. So you can actually hear kind of a delay. And when you put the two together in the track, um, you get this kind of almost echo piano thing going on, which is, which was really cool. So then we brought it back to my house, brought the tracks back and I brought it into logic, which is what I was using at the time to record in. And, okay. Well, what do we do with this from here? And I said, well, probably needs some drums. Okay. Well, Dave wasn't around, um, at that time. So, uh, I had a little demo kit. I set it up in my front room. Of my, uh, of my house, which is where we cut drums all the time, had hardwood and just the, the way the room was set up, it had a really cool room sound to it. So, uh, set up my drum kit and this was not cut to a click. Matt was just kind of flying all over the place tempo wise. Um, and so it took a few passes to kind of try and lock in as best as, it, you know, as I could chase the tempo. I'm not Dave Douglas on drums. I do play. Uh, but, but, uh, so just put kind of a basic, almost kind of pet sounds kind of drum vibe to the thing is where I kind of wanted to go with. Um, Got done with that. Uh, then I put bass guitar on it, and then Matt put fuzz bass. He put a fuzz bass part on that was really cool. We ran it through a fuzz pedal, and then Matt put all the vocals on it. And it just uh, twenty tracks. It's one of the 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 shortest track amounts that that we've used. Uh, on Reliant K records and just a very simple thing with lots of plate, long plate reverbs in the mix. Uh, but it's just a fun little song. And so I'm going to go ahead and go to the multi track here so you can kind of hear a little bit of what's going on and how we put that together. So this is I Hate Christmas Parties. Here we go. Just piano, a little cymbal swell coming in here. Here's the fuzz bass. That's Matt. Hope it snows this week. A snowflake on your cheek would make this Christmas so beautiful. Matt with that amazing ballad voice. But that would just bring the pain, cause things can't stay in. Hear the piano, how out of tune it is? 
here, here. Under the tree But there's nothing to see Cause it's a broken heart That you're giving me Now on the drum kit here, you'll just hear some simple pet sounds rolls. Rack Tom there. Just in the living room of my house. Back to the fuzz bass again. Sick of all this talking. Just that real a broken heart. Real up vocal. in a box. There's teardrops in my stocking. Now we're onto a beat. I look under the tree. Just single harmony. But there's nothing to see. Okay. Now listen, this is that echo piano. This is that side where it's the mic that's about five, seven feet off. And this side is the mic on the other side of the room. We got plate reverb on. This one Christmas is all about. It's a broken heart that you're giving me. Okay, now we dropped all the reverb here. I hate Christmas parties. <laughs> you offer me some punch, but I just shrug. I hate Christmas parties. Amazing. You and the cookie tree both hear me say ba hum ba ba. That's perfect. I've kind of got the little Ben Foldsy area too. <laughs> like six or seven parts of math. Under the tree, but there's nothing to see. It's a broken heart that you're giving me. Back down to just him a piano. I look under the tree, but there's nothing to see. Now, what's interesting here, the very last chord. That very last chord on the piano wasn't the main piano, it was the echo piano. So just for some reason we switched off there. Uh, but it said, it's a fun, here, let's listen. The piano's still going. You'll hear Matt get up. I think here, just a second. Still going. Just a second. Yep, <laughs> he let up the sustain pedal and walked away. Um, and he, yeah, it's just a fun little tune. As I said, there's not not a lot of tracks to it. It's all about the space and it's all about Matt's vocal. And he just, uh, even back then, which, you know, that'd be earlier in their career, he just had this ballad voice that was just uh, not pretentious, just really, really honest and uh uh, really translated well. So anyhow, that's I Hate Christmas Parties for now. I'll probably do another couple songs said between now and Christmas. And uh, I hope you guys are gearing up for the Christmas season and hope it's going to be just an absolutely enjoyable one. So take care. We'll catch you next time.